own organization, finding out who you are and, and get some input. Get some input from all levels of the organization to define what is that compelling vision uh, of who we are or who we aspire to be. And it's going to have to be different in every company. And you can't copy someone else, although there's nothing wrong with looking at other companies and saying, hey, they did this. I think that's great. I wonder if we can implement that. But you still got to be true to your own cause. And if you don't have a cause that's inspiring, get back in the black box and spend some work on it yeah. because it will help you in a lot of ways. Yeah, I think that's a great point that having an office dog or having a snow day may not be who you are. And that's fine. The, the, that's not the point of, the, of what we're saying. It's it's find what you can be flexible on, what you can get people to buy into, and then and emphasize those things. That's right. Yeah, perfect. That's right. Well, I, we're running low on time, so I think we're just going to um, wrap up a little bit. Paul, thank you so much for your time this morning. Is there any last things you want to say to the audience before they uh, take off? I, I guess my final, final parting shot is uh, try and appreciate. Try and take an appreciative mindset to all the good things that the millennials bring and make sure that you're seeking more input from them and try and be flexible because I think that that flexibility will go a long way towards helping them get really engaged with your company. Fantastic. Thank you, Paul, so much for taking some time this morning. I'd like to invite everyone who is on today to stick around for a couple seconds. A survey will pop up. We'd love to hear your feedback and what we can do better and what stood out to you from today's event. Uh, have a wonderful day. And again, Paul, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you.